Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Producers Market YouTube channel. Today we have a little tutorial for all of you who'd like to learn how to make maple butter right at home with nothing more than a wooden spoon, a kitchen thermometer, and maple syrup. Start by pouring your maple syrup on a pot or saucepan. Here I'm using 100% organic maple syrup by main base producer Sawyer's Maple Farm. The next key element is the kitchen thermometer. This recipe demands precision, as a maple syrup needs to boil at 112 degrees Celsius, or 12 degrees Celsius over the boiling point of water, at which point the sugars in the syrup will concentrate and allow for crystallization to happen. I like to control the flame and just start low and slow. No stirring or fussing with the syrup, just constantly checking on the temperature and watching as it slowly starts to bubble. I would highly recommend using a larger pot if possible to give the syrup plenty of room to bubble up and boil over, which it will do as the temperature climbs up to 112 degrees Celsius. After the maple syrup reaches our desired temperature, kill the fire and let it cool down for a minute. Then, grab a bowl or container that can hold your pot or saucepan and fill it with ice to help the syrup chill which will also assist with the process of crystallization. I like to give the mix time and let the temperature drop until the maple syrup firms and stiffens into a very thick molasses-like texture. At this point, I've made quite a few batches. This one's a bit runnier than usual, which is fine, but don't be scared or discouraged if yours feels very firm and tacky. The next part requires patience, but it's well worth it. With a wooden spoon, stir your tacky maple syrup. Once it's fully chilled and stiff, it will be a bit of a struggle, but keep going. The syrup will loosen and lighten in color. On different occasions, this process has taken me anywhere from 13 to 20 minutes. And then your light syrup will thicken into a cream that will firm up and harden as it's poured into the appropriate container. It is also worth mentioning that this DIY product is one that Sawyer's Maple Farms produces and sells in its own catalog. Sawyer's Maple Farm is a small family-owned business. Started in 2010 by Kurt Sawyer after a local maple producer became in need of help when his sugar house was burned down in the middle of harvest season. Kurt's family jumped in to help, established a solid friendship, and Kurt cut the maple bug himself. Pretty soon, when he was 22, he was tapping trees himself and selling his own maple syrup. All the trees in the farm are connected through pipes and tubing. They're tapped in January. In March, the sap is running down the pipes to the pump house and into the sugar house for processing, creating delicious organic maple syrup, main made the way syrup ought to be. If you'd like to know more about Sawyer's Maple Farm, check out the link in the description, which will take you directly to their product profile in the producer's market platform. Here, you'll be able to learn more about their story, their mission statement, see their photo gallery and product profile. And if you'd like to learn more about incredible producers from all around the world, don't forget to check out our marketplace. Leave a comment if you appreciated this video. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. And until next time, take care. Bye.